Hey, Paul, come check this out. Paul. I guess he's sleeping in his dang truck again. Just what I figured. Look at that. Fast out. Fast out. What yeah. are you doing? Can a guy get some sleep around here? Crap. <laughs> Pathetic. Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict here to tell you a little bit today about our 1997 Centurion F350. Um, basically it's a 1997 time capsule. Picked it up about three weeks ago out of Michigan uh, with a couple of, a couple of our uh, OBS addicts, Darren Tosh and Mike Winter. Um, so give you a little rundown on it. It was posted on a couple of the Facebook boards. I got uh, in contact with the owner, was able to get in contact with Darren Tosh which lived about 20 minutes away. He was kind enough to drive over and take a look at it for me because us Texans kind of worried about the Michigan rust, if you will. Uh, he checked it out, it checked out perfect, made a deal with the owner, and then uh, Mike Winter of Mike's Diesel Performance went up to take a look at or went to pick it up for me, uh, bring it back and get it in shape for the uh, 1400 mile trip from Michigan back home to Texas. So here it is, we got it back here. Let's take a look at the inside, and show you some of the features of it. Check it out. All right, so a lot of people don't know a lot about Centurion trucks. They were a custom manufacturer that sold trucks new through Ford back in the shoot, uh, 80s through the 90s, I guess. I, I really don't know when they started. Uh, went out of business in 2002, I believe, according to Ron Butts, another one of our members uh, in the OBS Addicts. But uh, anyway, this thing was top of the line, the most luxury you could get for a vehicle in 97. Um, when I got this truck, I didn't realize how much of a time capsule it was going to be until I got it back and started looking at it. Um, if you wanted to drop back into 1997 and have everything that you could get on a possible truck back then, you, this is the truck for you. Um, it basically has been untouched and unchanged since 97. The, I bought it from the second owner. The first owner and the second owner did nothing but drive this thing. They did not change anything from the way it came from Ford. This is just like it would have been if it had drove off the showroom floor in 1997. So um, we're going to give you a little rundown of some of the features on this thing. So obviously wood grain, top of the line, custom center console, custom seats. Um, something that a lot of people have never seen is it's got heated and cooled cup holders in it. And both heated and cooled cup holders work. You flip the switch on and cooled or flip it forward and it's, it's warm. And I have tested them out and they work flawlessly. Um, still got the TV VCR in it. In just a second, we'll go to the back seat and show you that. Both of them still power up and come on. Uh, truck, I mean, is in immaculate condition for living its entire life in Michigan and uh, having 197,000 miles on it. But overhead console, it come with a radar detector, uh, mood lights, power slide rear window, fog lights, and driving lights, all of which still work. So let's take a look in the back seat. So a surprising little piece here, um, the back seat is not, it does not seat eight, it's only a five seat truck. This seat folds down and turns into a bed, slides into the back of the truck. Basically it turns into a full queen size bed when you hit the switches and, and lay it out. So even the TV and the VCR work, I can't, I haven't got them to communicate with each other yet. I'm still playing with that. I've only had the truck a couple of weeks, so, but to show you. 
TV still comes on, powers up. VCR still powers up. It even came with its own tape of Wagons East. <laughs> so, hopefully we'll get this working in the next week or so. We'll show you all a video of it working. So. We're going to do a few other features around the truck. Uh, basically, everywhere you look, this thing has something a little bit different. Uh, like overhead grab handles that most trucks never had and everybody always wishes they did. But uh, let's go to the back, check out some of the back features. So, everybody knows the, the Lund call them racer backs some people call them the truck mullet whatever you want to call it come with that overhead rack for a roof wing for pulling your fifth wheel trailer because this was the ultimate camper hauler truck in the day of course i guess it still is um 50 gallon transfer flow tank that is set up with its own sending unit and float gauge there's a switch you flip on the dash and the factory fuel gauge on the dash reads how much fuel is in the tank all still works fill it up from here and you have 140 gallons roughly on this truck to cruise down the road and go wherever you want to go uh, along with the exterior had besides the extended cap work the exterior had grab handles on it which were lighted stainless running boards which had awesome chicken lights in it cruising the town on saturday night and then this truck came with the custom graphics package that Centurion was known for on their trucks. Even as far as they have the ATS intercooler kit on this truck. So, here she is, folks. All right guys, so earlier we talked about the 97 Centurion being a time capsule and all, and uh, kind of untouched since 97. Anyway, here's the paperwork that came with the truck and some of the stuff that came with it that would have come in 1997 with the truck. Per my understanding, every truck came with a set of mugs that had the heated and cooled cup holders because these fit right down into the heated and cooled cup holders perfectly and it says Centurion on both sides of the mug. Um, probably the coolest thing is, I assume what this is, is the buyer's order from the Ford dealership. It's got the Ford dealership's name on it. It's got the customer's bank name, the customer's name, customer's address, what the customer paid for the truck, all the features of the Centurion on it, and the customer's signature and the salesman's signature on it. So that's probably my coolest piece uh, out of that, the other is the three-year, 36,000-mile warranty book that gives the, the VIN codes and everything about the Centurion truck uh, and, and what they offered with that particular truck, along with all of the owner's manuals from the six-disc CD changer that's under the bed back seat, the AudioVox TV, the AudioVox VCR, the Panasonic tape player that's in the truck, along with their warranty cards and uh, uh, well these are the warranty cards and these are the uh, uh, kind of an operator's book they also have the owner's manual and devices for the radar detector and the overhead console the uh, factor myth of having a radar detector in the truck along with I've never actually seen one of these a quick tips for the f-series trucks and um, it had, I forgot earlier that it had remote keyless entry to it. This is kind of interesting. It's got the cassette tape owner's manual. And if you take the cassette tape owner's manual out of the case, it even has the window stickers that were supposed to be stuck on the truck that said uh, vehicle protected by uh, executive car security systems. So that was pretty neat. And then the last thing that I thought was pretty cool is this is a list of features that Centurion offered the dealers that the dealers could select what aftermarket accessories they wanted on each different truck. So it's got a whole whole list 
of different items that the truck could have could have come with had the dealership selected these. So anyways, I thought that was a pretty neat little deal to get with the truck. Most of this paperwork is long gone. Right after the first owner gets it, it goes all in the trash. But this truck came with everything. Here it is 19 years later and I still have all the paperwork. So I thought that was pretty neat. Thank you.